Hello everyone and welcome back to the Iron Fleet channel. Let's rewind to the 1970s. Something groundbreaking happened in military aviation. Stealth technology. Imagine planes built to hide from radar. Engineers designed airframes that could either bounce radar signals away or soak them up like a sponge making these aircraft nearly invisible to enemy systems. If you couldn't spot them on radar, you were stuck relying on eyeballs, heat sensors, or even sound to find them, all way less reliable. In 1974, DARPA threw down the gauntlet Build us a plane that barely shows up on radar. Big names like Lockheed, Northrop, and McDonnell Douglas jumped into the race. Lockheed had a head start. They'd already tinkered with stealthy designs in their A-12 and S-R-71 spy planes. But this was next level. Teams experimented with wild materials, special radar-absorbing coatings, and early computer simulations to predict how their designs would look to radar. But how did they turn these experiments into real-world stealth? Stick around. We're diving deeper into the tech, the risks, and the genius behind these shadowy machines. The stealth technology race led to the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, a groundbreaking heavy strategic bomber designed to evade advanced anti-aircraft systems. Developed by Northrop Grumman and operational from 1987 to 2000, this subsonic flying wing features a two-person crew and combines stealth with formidable payload capacity. It can deploy both conventional and thermonuclear weapons, including precision-guided munitions or high-yield nuclear ordnance. The B-2 remains the sole operational aircraft capable of delivering large air-to-surface standoff weapons while maintaining full stealth capabilities. Envisioned initially for deep penetrating nuclear strike missions during the Cold War, the B-2's design includes two internal bomb bays, reducing radar visibility compared to external munitions carriage. It can carry an impressive 40,000 pounds of ordnance, including B-61 and B-83 nuclear bombs, and was intended to deploy the AGM-129 ACM cruise missile. Following the Soviet Union's dissolution, the B-2's role expanded to include conventional precision attacks, featuring a sophisticated GPS-aided targeting system, GATS, and the capability to deploy a variety of ordnance, such as JDAMs, Mark 82, and Mark 84 bombs, CBU 87 combined effects munitions, and more. Notably, it is compatible with the Massive Ordnance Penetrator, EMOP, for targeting reinforced bunkers and is expected to carry upcoming standoff munitions like the AGM 158 JASM cruise missile and the long-range standoff weapon, enhancing its strategic versatility. Beyond its formidable arsenal and sophisticated equipment, the B-2 Spirit undergoes meticulous pre-flight preparations, crucial for any mission success. These checks encompass a range of critical aspects, 
From avionics and systems to engine functionality and flight control verifications, each element is rigorously tested to ensure the bomber's readiness for the complexities of modern aerial warfare. Avionics, the electronic systems used in aviation, play a pivotal role in the B-2's stealth operations, necessitating thorough checks to maintain the aircraft's low visibility and high efficiency. Similarly, the engine's performance is scrutinized as it must flawlessly support long-range high-altitude missions. Lastly, flight controls, integral to the bomber's unique flying wing design, are carefully examined to guarantee precise maneuverability and stability. These pre-flight routines underscore the intricate balance between the B-2's stealth capabilities and its operational demands, ensuring it remains one of the most advanced and feared aircraft in the skies. The B-2 Spirit's maneuverability, a crucial feature for any stealth bomber, is largely attributed to its innovative design and sophisticated control mechanisms. As a flying wing aircraft, it inherently faces challenges in flight stability. To counteract this, the B-2 employs a complex quadruplex computer-controlled fly-by-wire flight control system. This system automatically adjusts flight surfaces and settings, maintaining stability without needing direct pilot inputs. The aircraft's design smartly incorporates pitot static sensing plates instead of traditional pitot tubes, enhancing stealth while accurately gathering flight data like airspeed and angle of attack. Northrop Grumman's ingenuity extends to the B-2's directional control. After extensive research, they adopted a blend of split brake rudders and differential thrust, minimizing radar visibility while maintaining efficient control. Engine thrust plays a pivotal role, affecting not just drag and lift, but also the bomber's pitching and rolling motions. The aircraft features four pairs of control surfaces along the wing's trailing edge. While most surfaces are active across various flight conditions, the inner elevons are typically reserved for slower speeds, such as during landing. A notable design feature is the drooping of all elevons during takeoff to prevent contact damage and to facilitate a nose-down pitching attitude only reverting to normal position once sufficient airspeed is achieved. Shifting our focus from the B-2 Spirit's sophisticated maneuverability and control systems by aerial and hot pit refueling. These methods not only extend its formidable range, but also ensure crew proficiency through rigorous training exercises. Aerial refueling allows the B-2 to undertake extended, far-reaching missions by receiving fuel mid-flight, while hot pit refueling facilitates rapid ground refueling with engines running, crucial for quick response scenarios. Together, these practices are integral to the B-2's operational readiness underscoring its role as a persistent, versatile presence in the skies. Another critical aspect of its operational effectiveness is its maintenance process.
Given its substantial weight of 160,000 pounds, specialized procedures are employed to ensure its optimal functioning. The massive aircraft is hoisted on hydraulic jacks, allowing for thorough maintenance of its landing gear. During this process, all hydraulic cylinders are meticulously inspected for any signs of leakage, and the wheels are replaced if any damage is detected. Simultaneously, the aircraft undergoes engine maintenance, a crucial step to ensure the bomber's reliability and readiness. This comprehensive approach to maintenance underlines the importance of regular, rigorous upkeep in preserving the B-2's operational integrity and prolonging its service life. Shifting focus from the B-2 spirit, let's consider another iconic stealth aircraft, the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk. Developed by Lockheed's secretive skunk works in the 1970s to counter advanced Soviet SAMs, the F-117 was the first operational aircraft built with stealth as a priority. Its maiden flight was in 1981 at Nevada's Groom Lake, with the first production model delivered in 1982. The F-117, a single-seat subsonic twin-engine aircraft boasts a sophisticated suite of navigation and attack systems. Primarily relying on GPS and inertial navigation, it carries an internal bay for ordnance, capable of holding up to 5,000 pounds, including various laser-guided and GPS-guided bombs combat, marking a shift towards precision-guided munitions and away from the more controversial carpet bombing strategy. Despite its limited number of sorties, the B-2 was responsible for a significant portion of the bombing campaign in Yugoslavia. As the USAF plans for the future, the aging fleet of B-2s, B-1s, and B-52s is set to be replaced by a new generation of bombers. Initially projected to operate the B-2 until 2058, the FY 2019 budget accelerated its retirement to no later than 2032. To fill this gap, the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider is being developed as a strategic bomber for the USAF. Part of the long-range strike bomber program the B-21 is designed as a long-range, stealth intercontinental bomber capable of delivering both conventional and thermonuclear weapons. It's intended to replace the B-1 Lancer and B-2 Spirit by 2040, and possibly the B-52 Stratofortress subsequently. The B-21's development began in 2011 with Northrop Grumman receiving the development contract in 2015. The bomber made its maiden flight on November 10th, 2023, and is anticipated to enter service by 2027. The B-21 is envisioned to be more than a bomber. A 2015 report suggested it could serve as an intelligence platform battle manager and interceptor. The former Secretary of the Air Force, Deborah Lee James, described it as a fifth-generation global precision attack platform with networked sensor shoot capability. Northrop Grumman touts the B-21 as the world's first sixth-generation aircraft, marking a significant As the USAF plans for the future, the aging fleet of B-2s, B-1s, and B-52s is set to be replaced by a new generation of bombers.
Initially projected to operate the B-2 until 2058, the FY 2019 budget accelerated its retirement to no later than 2032. To fill this gap, the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider is being developed as a strategic bomber for the USAF. Part of the long-range strike bomber program, the B-21 is designed as a long-range, stealth intercontinental bomber capable of delivering both conventional and thermonuclear weapons. It's intended to replace the B-1 Lancer and B-2 Spirit by 2040, and possibly the B-52 Stratofortress subsequently. The B-21's development began in 2011, with Northrop Grumman receiving the development contract in 2015. The bomber made its maiden flight on November 10th, 2023, and is anticipated to enter service by 2027. The B-21 is envisioned to be more than a bomber. A 2015 report suggested it could serve as an intelligence platform, battle manager, and interceptor. The former Secretary of the Air Force, Deborah Lee James, described it as a fifth-generation global precision attack platform with network sensor shoot capability. Northrop Grumman touts the B-21 as the world's first sixth-generation aircraft, marking a significant evolution in strategic bomber capabilities. It boasts a substantial capacity and is able to carry a 20,000-pound weapon load. The aircraft measures 54 feet in length with an expansive wingspan of 132 feet. Its empty weight stands at 70,000 pounds, while it can take off with a maximum weight of 180,000 pounds. Powered by two Pratt and Whitney PW 9,000 non-afterburning turbofans, each delivering 27,000 pounds of thrust, the B-21 is capable of reaching speeds exceeding Mach 1, Mach 0.8. These specifications underline the B-21's role as a formidable addition to the USF's arsenal, offering a blend of range, payload capacity, and speed. In conclusion, the evolution of stealth technology in U.S. aviation has been a journey of groundbreaking developments. From the pioneering F-117 Nighthawk to the formidable B-2 Spirit, and now the cutting-edge B-2-1 Raider. Each aircraft represents a significant leap in technological advancements showcasing the USAF's commitment to maintaining aerial superiority. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.